Hey guys on YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Harmony Factory. Shed, you missed it again, son. I joined in with the whistling that time. I joined in with the whistling. So welcome. Hello everybody. Welcome back. We, uh, there's lots of changes, as people will probably be able to see. Lots and lots of changes, isn't that right, Shed? Uh, not much has changed. Yeah, it's just easy. You know, it took no time whatsoever to make all this stuff. You just... Absolute, you know what I mean? It just a five minute job. Did this between episodes. We've literally <laughs> finished recording the last one. Yeah, literally did this between episodes. But it has been quite a few days since uh, last episode and, and this one. So, uh, yeah, I went ahead and I thought, you know what? I am sick to death of showing people the six hours of crafting one item on camera. I think it's time that we got some, uh, some auto craft to go in. So I did. Shed. Behold, my friend. Behold. Uh, so, behold. <laughs> behold. At the bottom here, we've got a nice ME conduit that's going all the way up to the top. Because, of course, this is where the, 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 the brains of this system is. Everybody's so, singing. Up the top. That's right. It's going up to here. We've got another crafting terminal at the top here with all of this stuff. And then we've got a pattern terminal, which uh, I've used all the patterns at the moment. So I uh, just have to create some more eventually. Um, oh, I thought that was energetic, uh, four times energetic Chris. cable, and I got really excited. Yes? I've just spent ages crafting all that black quartz dust, and there's some black quartz in the system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even shit. need to do it. <sighs> Eat all these plates. <laughs> oh, dear me. We've got an interface terminal as well. Right, basically, here we go. Oh, my God, things can spawn over here. We're not having, not having that. So it took a long time to set all this stuff up. I'm not going to bore you with the specifics. It literally took hours. So this is basically everywhere uh, that this can that can craft everything. Basically, we've got a lot of space. Uh, we've got another two ME interfaces worth of uh, of space there. I think all the rest of these are actually fill uh, filled up, yeah, full up, filled up, whatever. Um, and yeah, all these interfaces lead to something in uh, in particular. So these, we've got three basic assembling machines over here. I'm not really bothered about speed. I'm just bothered about getting things automatically done. So we've got one that uses tin, everything you can see in there. Uh, now, eventually, this will be uh, hooked up to um, a fluid uh, creator, extractor, whatever it's called. And that will uh, constantly be fed in with soldering alloy, not tin, because that's actually better. It's more efficient per piece of tin uh, and we don't want to keep buying a load of tin just because you know it's easier uh, so soldering alloy is something that we'll definitely do and that will be hooked up to this basic assembler machine and we constantly filled up which is what we're aiming for this one over here has polyethylene in it and that does the circuits for the moment because um, we've got our polyethylene system up there that we can create some more with so that's not a problem this hull over here has a configuration 8 integrated circuit in it and that makes the uh, the hulls uh, the assembly machine makes the hulls. And of course, you go around the room and all these ME interfaces have specific things in them that we needed for uh, auto crafting. Basically, circuits. Oh, nice. Good stuff, Shed. Oh, that took there some it time. Is. Well, it's there. There it is, my friend. I don't even know how that works. I no, mean, I, I wouldn't... Mean, don't put it in the middle of the base just in case it starts mining everything going down the base. A vertical digger over an R vein, feed it RF, and it will mine up the entire vein for you. Nice. Do you know what I reckon? Is there such a thing? No, tesseracts are not a thing anymore. Is there a way of, like, um, moving power within, like, you know, uh, dimensions? Do you know what I mean? Like, just... Have, like tesseracts used to do. I don't know what they're called nowadays. They might not be called tesseracts. I've no idea, Shad. No idea. I have no idea, son. We have the vertical thing. We do. I need like a dynamo so I can go test it. A dynamo, yeah. That's true. You could get one of them on Autocraft. We've got no patterns at the moment, so no. uh, it's uh, a bit stuck. And I haven't got polyeth polyethylene sheets on Autocraft because it's a bit of a pain. I'll put it in the system them. for now. Okay. Well, we've got the advanced inscriber as well, which allow us to batch craft uh, the um, circuit things, the little things for applied energistics, which has been a godsend, I will say. And of course, I brought the crystal crystal growth chamber up here just to be able to make a lot of them pure circuits and stuff. Right. Let's have a look for another quest to crack on with. Another quest to call. 
while you're doing that, Shed, I have pre-done. I've pre-done a lot of stuff here because... Have we not done this? Have we not the done one? Which was? No, we haven't. We never built one, did we? I found them without having to use a meteorite compass. Oh. Do you want me to do that? Oh, yeah, well. you can do. You can do. So, these are the quests that have been completed in between episodes. Um, Daniel's literally just done the Resident Clathrate, or whatever it's called there. And I've done all of these uh, Applied Energistics ones whilst we're setting it up. And Shed's been doing the stainless steel, the vertical digger, and, and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, we're going to go ahead... being useful for once in my life. Claim all of them. Oh, no, I won't go that far, Shed. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> And then claim that. And we've got loads of the Omni Nickels. We, in fact, we've got an Omni Dollar there for one of them quests, Shed. That's crazy. We've got 1,004, no. uh, 34 Omni Nickels. That's absolute madness. I've still got 32 on me. Oh, nice. Well, 32 plus 15 plus that plus that. So I've got just over a stack on me of Omni Nickels. It's sweet. Sweet. So what I'm going to work on right now, Shed, if you have a look at the questicle book, uh, down here, also crafting patterns goes to the plastic sheets, which is basically what you need to make the patterns in the first place. But there is plastic substrate, which is required for this third and final tier one circuit, and chlorine and polyvinyl chloride and SMD components. And uh, this is a whole setup within itself. Now, for those of you watching, this is factory number two. Factory number two, Shed. It is. Factory number two. Of course, it's going to go up here. I've created a little bit of an area for this factory to go into. Uh, I do need another four times energetic alloy cable, though, because otherwise this is not going to work. Polyvinyl is what we're crafting today, and it needs all of these different machines. We've got two advanced chemical reactors. We've got three advanced electrolyzers. We've got an advanced mixer, a trash can flu for fluid. Um, we've got item conduits. We've got ender fluid conduits. We've got a load of stuff here. Everything should be here to be able to craft this. Now, if I remember, um, and I probably won't, so please do apologize. I apologize in advance for this. I'm asking people to apologize. Please do apologize for this. No. It's my fault. Um, if I remember, I'll take a picture of what I've actually, um, what I've drawn up. And if I remember, you'll probably see this in editing somewhere along this time. If not, then please do excuse me. I, I forget everything. I forget my name, um, which right, let's see if this works. Is a problem. We're missing. We're missing Alan and Yem. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, if you if, some here, it's fine. I've got some. It, to be able to before I start that, around. actually, let me. Grab myself the Is them um, processors. Oh, that would be an absolute pain in the backside to craft, but thankfully I can auto craft them. You can shed. I am missing six integrated circuits. Now, right. if you macerate down almondine, you get almondine dust. Right. This is why you saw the almondine dust in the electrolyzer here, because if you then electrolyze almondine. Uh, almondy dust you get aluminium and silicon dust back and you get more of it so it's much needed much needed almondine get it get it through the electrolyzer my friend and you'll have to what i've got to do with this so integrated circuit i need integrated circuit wafers in the cutting saw is that even a thing yes so that is actually how I'm meant to do it. I'm not looking at the wrong thing. Uh, no, if you're going to get integrated wafers, it's a little bit of a pain. Before you make the silicon bull, because it takes 5 million years, I do want to make uh, some energetic alloy cable. So, oh, well, I'm working on something. Nicked the blend. That could be quite how important. Dare they? That could how be quite useful. Dare you know, the, the multi block smelter. <laughs> oh, it yeah. Says if, you, if it's upgraded enough, it can literally smelt thousands of things a second. Ooh. Uh, I think that'll be like ultra massively high voltage stuff, but yeah, definitely. Like, sounds sounds good. Quest we can do for the minute, so sounds good. Sounds but good. It's gonna take some making. Before I thought I had everything, I don't. I'm so sorry. Um, YouTube, gold. Where is gold? Have we got gold? No. We literally have one block of gold, my friends. This is not <laughs> good. We need more gold. 
Daniel, oh, could, uh, could you buy gold? This gold, oh yeah. yeah. It takes five minutes to make a silicon bull. Yeah, that's I needed what the blast about furnace. So. Massery in it though, the gold. Could we get more? You need gold R to do that. Yeah, like I got some. I bought five minutes. This is oh yeah, yeah. Stick it through. I don't know what to do with the crushed stuff. So. Uh, you stick it through again, I think. Have a look at the uses for it. It should show you. Like, I think you can put it back through the macerator, the crushed R, back through the macerator again. Are you still using the blast furnace? Yes. Oh, wait. I need energetic alloy. I alloy. took some gold, because I was going to make some energetic alloy as well. I just need that. Once I've got my... F I need one single cable. One single energetic alloy cable. I will join the back of the queue, because mine's going to take the longest. <laughs> that silicon bowl is a bit... Actually, Shed, if you can get a few things together and make multiple of those because we're going to need a lot of it for the circuits yeah we need a lot more silicon dust ah I've, I've just put some through four, four, i've just put nine, some going so, through so. it's almondine well, dust what i've just taken no i've put some almondine dust it takes forever though so um i've just put some going through and that'll put it up into the chest up here all right it's like a feedback loop. You basically you put it up there, it puts it in when it can, and then it takes all the stuff back out. Basically, it's a nice. So what do I do with the aluminium dust? Put it uh, in where? the blast furnace. The aluminium dust. If you wanted to make no, aluminium. Aluminium dust. Oh, it goes into the electrolyzer. So you could just leave it there, mate. It'll sort it itself out. It goes. Oh. It goes. It's into there itself, and then it takes the stuff out and puts it back into it. So I'd it check. takes the stuff out of the chest and then puts the stuff back in the chest. Yes, when it's done. Right. It won't take the almondine out of the input, you're all right. I see. I know, it's awesome, isn't it? I forget that stuff can go both ways in these conduits. Ah, oh, it's ace, honestly. Best thing. Okay, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. I was not expecting it to take that amount of time. So, the energetic alloy cable. I might cut all that bit out, it just depends. We want this hmm. to be placed on top of this one. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> there we go. And then that one there as well. Brilliant. Uh, now that gives us... Oh, I've just thought. Oh. Oh, it might connect to all this fluid conduit here, and I don't want... Oh, no, it shouldn't, actually. We might be okay. So, to make polyvinyl... Um, it's, it's a whole setup within itself, which is why we're doing our second factory over here for polyvinyl chloride. Okay, so if we take a look at how to make um, polyvinyl chloride. Does anyone need any more steak while I'm at it, by the way? I, I just don't. Some steak up. I don't. I'm all right for the yes. moment. Yeah, come grab some. So to make Ooh. polyvinyl chloride, you need vinyl chloride and oxygen with an integrated circuit, but we'll sort that out in a minute. That gives you polyvinyl chloride. So oxygen's pretty easy. You just um, electrolyze water and it gives you oxygen. To get vinyl chloride, that is where the uh, the factory side of it starts. You need chlorine, you need ethylene. Ethylene we've already got access to, so that's not gonna be an issue. Um, but the chlorine, we don't. So that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be making chlorine today. The chlorine. To get chlorine, you've got to electrolyze salt water, and it gives you chlorine and hydrogen. We'll be dumping the hydrogen. We don't need that. Um, you can also put rock salt in there, and it'll get chlorine, but it's easier to do it the salt water way. Quick question. Go on. The cutting saw that I need for this silicon ball, is that this cutting machine at the back here? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cause why has it got raw iron in it? I don't know. I've no idea. Um, the salt water... You put water with salt, believe it or not, in the mixer, and that gives you salt water. Um, the issue we've got is the hydrochloric acid is, is created somewhere along the line. I think it's with the, the uh, chlorine. There it is, look. Hydrochloric acid. Now, you can actually put the hydrochloric acid back into uh, the chemical react uh, into, um, into an electrolyzer. Where's the electrolyzer? I thought you could put it into a... Wait a second... Yeah, electrolyzer. Hydrochloric acid, that makes hydrogen and chlorine. So you can actually get more chlorine back. You put that back in, and then it, it basically creates a little cycle until it's all used. Uh, so, with all that in mind, <laughs> let's start building this thing. Now, I might not need this uh, end of wire. I 
possibly could get the end of fluid conduit here and just extend it across uh, to where we need the water. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to put down, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough space. Extract on the purple. Always active. Boosh. No. Boosh. Boosh. There we go. Polyvinyl chloride. Nice. Now we needed a sheet of polyvinyl for the actual quest, so Who's I will come down here. <laughs> I thought this was my leftover one because I'm missing one. No, we'll take it if you want it then, because I've got more going through anyway, but. I took one from the system and I came here to take another one. I'm confused. Did you take them? Is there any left in the system? Yeah. Ah, because I need um, eight aluminium plates, which is what I'm. That's what I'm doing, bro. What are you making? Oh, I don't know what you're making, so I don't make yeah, the same thing. Bro. Coffee machine. Oh, right. Okay, I'll leave you to it then, because that's exactly what I was just about to make. <laughs> There we go. Polyvinyl chloride. Oh, that is dear. the worst thing in existence, by the way. I will leave you to that then, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Most ledge thing. Polyvinyl chloride. Oh, Jesus Chris. Christ. Yes? Here, yeah, look. We've got the chubs. Oh, look at it's that. time. It's time. I think we're, that's a good point to end the episode as well, actually. We need some water and power and stuff first. Power. There. Pardon me. Coffee mate. maker. It needs power. <laughs> Where the hell do we Look at in? all that that we served right there. Uh, down with the RF stuff down here somewhere, I reckon. Right. Oh, we got polyvinyl chloride. No. That is what we was after, basically. So we're pretty much done. <laughs> Whoa. Thank oh, God baby. for that. Baby. With the polyvinyl chloride, we can make these plastic substrates. <clears throat> One sec, I've got a bucket on me. Because I can make two with this particular recipe that we've got here. Sulfuric acid, copper foil, polyvinyl chloride. Nice. So, ooh, poly, poly tetrafluoroethylene sheet. <laughs> we can make far with that. No, we're not going to go that far. Polyvinyl chloride, is th I think we'll just stop there. Uh, we can make two plastic circuit boards with that particular recipe, which we is good. And that's what's needed in the SMD recipes. In the quest book, basically coming down here, that's where we're at. Why does a cup need the coffee beans to make the cup? What the? I have no, no we don't have any more. We don't beans. question. We'll go and um, plant some coffee outside. Just don't question the uh, the validity of those recipes, my friend. Change all the carrots to coffee. I am changing some of the carrots to coffee. That's for sure. Right. The vast majority of that episode will probably be edited down. <laughs> I think I will definitely edit that down because I was messing around and trying to find this, that, and do the other. Do we have any bone meal? So. Daniel, uh, can just grow these quicker so we can... The skelly bones. Yeah. I have just found some oh, sneaky God. spawn spots. Anyway, guys, have we got a chub got on the crack? Um, no. For the end of we this need, episode. We need a cup. And a cup quick, needs quick, coffee quick, beans quick, and we don't quick, have any more quick, coffee beans. Quick. We don't Wait, have any don't more coffee bone beans. Meal. What the hell? No, you've got to macerate them, I think, to make bone meal. Oh, yeah. Oh, surely. 
made an empty cup, which requires one oh, thing of put, coffee beans. And put it in with a martyr, Daniel. Martyr and a bone makes bone meal. Martyr, my man. No, you're all right. <sighs> oh, that made so much. Oh! Yeah, be careful, shift clicking. Because <laughs> you'll end up with lads. <laughs> There's no coffee. Oh, Where are coffee. you? Are you at the uh, at the RF place? <laughs> yeah, you are. Bro, bro, bro. Oh. Are you getting loads of coffee seeds as well, though? What? Chuck us this coffee seeds that you get in and I'll oh, start. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. We're ready for this end of this episode, Chub. We need this auto crafted, boss. I got coffee auto crafted. Uh, That's yeah. it. Just auto craft yourself in a coffee every oh, episode. You just squished. I don't have a thing on me either. A hoe. Okay, I got so much. I got like a stack of beans. Come on then. Let's get them crafted. Right. Get a cup crafted. Get it up here. Let's have a chub to end this episode oh, off. Uh, okay. oh, have you made the all that coffee. Have you made the cup? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just put all the coffee beans in there. And <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, yeah, uh, the logic. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made a cup? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bone. There we go. <laughs> Mortar. There we go. Shift click. Oh, look at all yes. this. This aesthetic quartz is going all the way up here now. What is oh, has somebody quartz? has somebody been craft has somebody been moving this? No, what is it? What like what is what it? Aesthetic. It's oh, um, yeah. if you put uh, if you put a quartz block in front of here, it changes it to aesthetic quartz. But it I shouldn't go it. this far back. I destroyed the Have cobble. You made the yeah. yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. How long is it? I taking? destroyed I know. the cobble because I you wanted know. to see how far the laser went. We've made a so tier long. one microverse thing by the time Daniel's made a cup. Oh, so it was Daniel that's turned all this into aesthetic quartz. Yes, yeah, sounds like it. Yes. He, said he, he said he got rid of the cobblestone because he wanted to see how far the laser was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Daniel's changed the entire floor in aesthetic quartz. How I far make... does the laser go? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Over make here. Two cups. <laughs> two cups. Cups in, machine in. Oh. Oh, you press brewing. OK, you can hear it going. Oh, it's brewing shed, some... it's brewing. Do we have art we... It's brewing shed, it's brewing. Oh, the noise. From men. God, I think my coffee maker will be quicker than this. Come on. What, Becky? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, hey, it's taking forever. We don't have any mushrooms. Oh, there we go. It's got no effects. It's a cup with no effects. It's sad with its life. Can we do anything uh, with this to make it into a better cup? A yeah, better chip? Yeah, it'll make you turn invisible for 25 seconds. Coffee. Don't have a mushroom. <laughs> you can centrifuge it into methane. <laughs> 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 what? That seems you ridiculous. You can use generator, but that's it. Where? Does that mean Where's... coffee itself centrifuges into methane? It does. I see. Where is Shred? Shed? Are you ready Shred. for the end of the episode? Chub. Oh, oh, oh it's got multiple cup. uses. Oh, and oh, you can that. Use saturation bar with it. Yeah, like Spot with on. food. It's just the second you get to the full well, thing of food. We'll leave the coffee. There. We'll leave the coffee in the inventory. Hopefully, it doesn't get cold there. But it's the end of the episode shed. We've done it. Polyvinyl chloride sheets is what Good we wanted. Stuff. I got it. You've done the um, the the miner and also chub machine and also what else did oh, you? Daniel do? did the chub machine. I did something else. Can't remember. Another thing. <laughs> I cannot remember. We did something anyway. I've claimed everything now. So, next episode, we will come back and I'm not sure what we're going to do actually for next episode. We definitely want to get into some of these third and final tier one circuits and, and automate that process. Maybe get in an MV assembly machine. Oh, you were working on the multi smelter, weren't you? But you need the vacuum freezer to do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're aware of that. Yeah. We're very nearly. Shed. We're very, very nearly, if you look at HV machine holes and stuff like that, we're getting into the realms of uh, Into the Microverse here. We're going to have to start going through some of the different things in Into the Microverse. But I well, think... we're going to end up in Draconic Evolution and all sorts before too long. We are. It's going to be awesome. But I think, I love that, really... I love that power thing with the big ball. Oh, it's great. 
Uh, I don't know if that's in here, actually. I don't know if they disabled it. It better be. It I better cannot be. remember, honestly. I can't no. remember. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think that the, the main thing that we've got to probably do is to automate quite a lot of the stuff that we've currently got. I think that getting machine lines, getting assembly lines, all that sort of stuff is something that we desperately need. Um, especially me sorting out what's going on upstairs. It's sorting out the, uh, the the power problem. What we're probably going to do, guys, is if you look at here, I've got solar panel Mark 1s on AutoCraft. If we can get it so that we've got solar panel Mark 2s on AutoCraft and get a full stack of those, like 64 times 4 RF per tick, it's actually... I think that will help us out with the idle power that we're using. Plus, if we can get a big battery to one side, then uh, then you know we, we can get we can probably use quite a lot of power. We want to get surplus power, basically. That's what we desperately need. And rather than making a load of the uh, the the things downstairs, the um, the magmatic dynamos and stuff like that, which we can get 300 RF per tick, by the way, um, then I think solar panels are definitely the way to go in future. Because we can get right the way up to 16 million RF per tick. I mean, it's going to take a long time to get there, but it's going to be crazy. I think that um, what we need to aim for, and what I've seen people aim for, is that actually the Wyvern solar panels, which are 32,000 uh, RF per tick. <laughs> it's a bit of a pain to get there, but uh, we can we can get to a, a good way a good way up. I think that solar panel Mark IVs are definitely doable if we can get the stuff ready. And you can get two of them per craft as well, which is awesome. And that's 64 RF per tick. So what's 64 times 64? 1,020 something? I don't know. More than, more oh, than I've got. 4,096. So that would be 4,096 RF per tick with a stack of solar panel Mark IVs. I think that's what we need to aim for to be able to, uh, to deal with the amount of power that we're sucking up here. Because I keep having to move the pump in the nether and it's a pain as well. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. Just caress it nicely. Be amazing. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Until then, I've been the top man. Shed man. Mini man. Stay safe, guys. Take it easy, guys. Bizzle. Bizzle.